it, you piece of shit! Decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Nothing here. Signal. Signal's growing stronger. So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Shh. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. 
Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your condition. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kegnell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Edmil and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elen, Kedmil Foli, Gledev Don Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iacus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course, they are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it, but do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. 
I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. Now take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Where'd you go while you were away, Eskel? Aldersburg. Hunted a higher vampire. Oh ho ho! Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables, to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you. Never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. What have you been up to, Lambert? On your way west last time I saw you. Uh, yeah. Contract and land exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's were the golds to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble, attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense, get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, 
where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Samavilla contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. So, watch this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own, with a fishing mat. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. You can breathe easy. Yen and I, we're not a couple. And we won't ever be one. Ah. Explains why the Sorceress Superior was so damn silky. Lambert, drop it. Sorry, girl. That was, uh, insensitive. We didn't know. <laughs> you wanna... wanna talk about it? No. I want a drink. Doable. Definitely doable.
<sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. You and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good men, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Cause without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game. Student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing, downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. How about that? Expected Geralt might have, but you? Esco, Esco, still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. <laughs> Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right, man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? I already went to get food. All right. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Lambert, bud, gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're a real jackass, but I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, yo. Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Huh? Where's Eskel? Should have been back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job for Vesemir. Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered. I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Geralt?
spilled some wine and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Let's go. Chop, chop. Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Esco, chop, chop. Esco! 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 Hey. <laughs> Hear that? It sounded like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed. <sighs> he hurt himself. Close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Hey, look! There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Not in here, but Yen. Mm -hmm. oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert. You're a genius. Of course I am. So? We inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah! Summon the bitches! All right. How's this work? Well, twist here, turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some fr 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 frippery. Uh, we don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt. Yes, perfect! Like it was made for you. Sure. Soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking, get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Cadmil blood de toi. Hocus pocus, I break it down, bro. I split her. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. Guards! More paper, Excellency! No, you oaf. 
The lodge, the lodge has come for me. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Go to bed. Now. Everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a wrap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something, a sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop! ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook 
we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. Floor. No. A trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? Of course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore we don't. But we rushed it. Should have started by... Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. Geralt, maybe you oughta... Come now, Eskel. I shan't bite you. Just do it. Yes. Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen. You're dozing off. No. I'm just... arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. I don't know. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. No, no, I 
They won't let you. Geralt, yellow flask in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Never severe. Koal, Koal, Kanye Tad. Nevit, Kariba, Endil. Geralt, the phylactery, open it. Kanye Tad, Taran Anadir, Dean. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Shram. And Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. They will detect at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this, Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Siri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avalok to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt.
The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. What shall I whip?